Hi, I'm Sherry and this is Gardening in the North and it has been a long time since I posted anything for you guys. At the end of last summer, so the end of the gardening season in 2021, I hit a major burnout. I was trying to push myself to go in too many directions, too hard, too fast. And I just couldn't keep up with it anymore. I felt very overwhelmed. I was tired. And mentally, I just couldn't focus on any one task at one time. And so I really needed to take a break. So one of the things that I did to heal was I took a very needed vacation with my husband. We then took the kids on a vacation. I read three or four books this winter. I don't know when the last time was that I actually read a book. And I have started to get that passion back for gardening. So back in January, I planted my onion seeds. In February, I planted my pepper seeds. And most recently, I just planted my tomato seeds. And so I'm hoping maybe in the next four to six weeks, I will do a grow room tour for you, show you how all my seedlings are doing. But in the meantime, this video here that you're about to watch is something that was lost to me. So I was looking through some of my photos and videos on my phone and realized that I had edited and sent myself this video that you're going to watch and completely forgot to upload it. So sit back, relax, take some notes, and I really hope that at the end of this video, you are going to want to add tromboncino or rapaconte squash to your 2022. I have been waiting all season, actually before the season even started, to do this video. So I had a vision for my garden to enlarge it with these waist high raised beds, which we did build out of uh, recycled barn material. And to put it all together, the finishing touches was to actually install the arch trellises so that I could grow tromboncino squash off of them. And we've done it. So I have been waiting months and months to actually be able to see what it would look like and if it matched what my vision was, and it has far exceeded that. So in today's video, I want to harvest all of the squash that are ready to be harvested, and I then want to weigh it and show you how much it actually weighs. So we actually harvest one of them about three weeks ago, and it was about three feet, just over three feet long, and it weighed about 10 pounds. So I can't wait to see what the total weigh-in is going to be from these tromboncino squash. So I'm going to start harvesting and you're going to notice that there are two different colors of tromboncino squash here. And that's just because some of them are older than the rest. So some of them are a lot more mature than the rest of them. The ones that look like this, that are this butternut squash color, are the most ripe and I'm going to harvest all of these ones because I want to get them in the oven, start cooking them and start making soup out of them. So the ones that look like this one here that are still green and this one here that is still green, I'm going to leave them. I want them to ripen on the vine. There is a lot of new growth on these plants still and this isn't going to um, you know, go bad hanging on the vine. It's only going to get better. The great thing about tromboncino squash is that as they hang, all of their seeds go into this ball here. So this whole neck of the squash is seedless. Now, when I, when I harvest the squash and it looks like the color of um, a butternut squash, it actually is very similar to a butternut squash. Now, when I harvest them and they're light green like this one here, it's very similar to a zucchini. So these plants or this squash is probably my favorite thing to grow other than tomatoes. So let's get, let's get harvesting. So I'm actually going to, oh, you know what? 
I bet you this one here is over 10 pounds. This is pretty heavy. So let's just start pulling them. <laughs> this is so crazy. What do you think the total number is going to be, Wesley? Uh, well, Maybe you have know. to wait. You have to wait and see how many I have, and then do an average of weight. Yep. Okay. Now this one <laughs> got stuck on the the trellis. So let me see. Oh. Oh, how am I going to get these ones? Um, okay, the plastic just broke. There we go. Wow. <laughs> oh, this one's heavier than the first one, I think. Okay, this one's going to be a little bit more tricky. But you know what? Now I can show you the inside. Seedless. Okay. Okay, that's it for here. Let's go down to the next trellis. So this is the second arch trellis and on this trellis we have the Rapa Conte squash which is exactly the same as the Tromboncino except that I got these seeds from a different seed company and the only difference that I'm noticing from these seeds or this arch trellis as opposed to the other one is that these squash seem to be a little bit more thicker so the neck of them are a little thicker. Now I'm only harvesting the ones that resemble the color of a butternut squash. And the reason for that is because I wanna bake these in the oven or the majority of them are gonna be baked in the oven. I'm then gonna mash them up. I'm gonna, or pull them off the skins, mash them up and then freeze them in my freezer. And throughout the winter season, we can pull them out and have it as a side with whatever meal we're having. The other thing that I'm gonna do is make soup with it. And it is gonna have such a nice buttery nut flavor to it. And so what I like to do is make a huge stock pot full of it. We'll have it for dinner that night, usually with some leftover chicken and cheese on top. And then I'll divide it up into lunchtime servings. Throw it in the freezer and whenever we need a lunch, we go in, grab it out and we're good to go. So I'm only harvesting the ones that are actually ripe today. So the one that's above me here that's green, I'm not gonna harvest this one yet. I really want it to turn color a little bit more. So I'm going to start harvesting them. I'm gonna take this one. This one here, I think, oh, is probably, do you think it's bigger than the one that's hanging here, Wes? Uh, oh my God. The other one's a bit thicker. Oh, they're almost the same. The green one's blocking your head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Okay. All right, I might have to take the camera from you and let you pull the wagon once we're done. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna leave this one. I'm gonna let it ripen up a little bit more. I'm gonna take this one though. And, oh, I see another one. Oh, I see one inside here. just weighed all of that squash and there was a hundred and sixteen pounds of squash in that wagon my mind is blown because I know that there is still probably that much more hanging on the vine that needs to be harvested I can't believe it thank you so much for spending your time with me and I'll see you in the next video